Well, I've made my way out to the north of Perth, and this is the suburb of Joondalup, and behind me is Edith Cowan University, Australia's only university to be named after a female. And when the statistics actually show that females outperform males in higher education in pretty much every element, I think it's really fitting that this is the place that's named after a female. It's actually Western Australia's oldest educational institution, higher education institution, became a university in 1991. What are the pros of studying here? Well, Edith Cowan is one of the best institutions, if not the top, then second to top, in terms of the teaching and the learning that goes on here, the student study experience. On all sorts of metrics, it actually outperforms some of the big, famous universities. Things like learner engagement, student support, teaching quality, this is the institution where you want to study. Some of the areas where Edith Cowan has got really excellent academic disciplines that you should seriously consider studying Things like agriculture and environment, business and management, communications, the computing and IT programs are really good here. Creative arts in particular, creative arts in particular is a fantastic program. Just down the road here is the West Australian Academy of Performing Arts, WAPA, and so that is the premier institute in Western Australia for the creative and performing arts. Not to mention education and engineering. The health programs here are fantastic. Nursing, psychology, allied sciences, things like rehabilitation legal studies, science and maths and social work. Across all of those different areas, there are plenty of incredible study areas for you to consider. Pros, well, they're quite a lot. What about the cons of coming to Edith Cowan? As somebody who's come in and out of Perth over many years and come to this institution many times, the one thing that really stands out to me is that, well, it is quite a long way out of the centre of the city. If you're just driving straight up the freeway, it takes about 25 minutes from the Perth CBD to get here. However, the university does have a brand new campus being constructed right down in the heart of Perth. That's going to be a game changer. It's going to be the university for the city centre, and that's a real positive. But even if you end up here at Joondalup, the positives of that, the positive of the con, if I can put it that way, firstly, just four k's down the road here is Hillary's Boat Hub, which is magnificent. You've got some of the most beautiful beaches in Perth not to mention the fact that getting down into Perth itself isn't so bad because there are buses that take you straight to the train station and in half an hour you're down in the city centre. Well, what sort of student would be well suited to studying at Edith Cowan University? You know, I've visited this place many times over the last decade and I really feel like this is an institution that just keeps growing on me, that just keeps getting better and better. If you're the kind of person that wants to be a little bit outside the hustle and bustle of a big city but still have access to a big city, ECU might be a good choice for you. As well, if you're looking for a really good academic program where there's awesome skills development, where you've got great learner resources and where the teaching quality is excellent, this is one of the best places in the country is what the statistics tell us. ECU has done a fantastic job climbing the rankings inside the top 400 institutions globally and inside the top 100 young universities under the age of 50. Not many students around, but it's still got a lovely vibe on this beautiful big bushland campus out at Joondalup and that new city campus coming right in the heart of the CBD soon. Lots of pros to coming and studying at ECU. Well, that's been another good visit to ECU. See you next time.